Michael Anderson, Peabody Museum preparator, is in the process of fabricating a foreground for a new diorama for the Peabody Museum of Natural History. The legendary diorama artist, James Perry Wilson, made this particular diorama. The diorama depicts a stretch of beach at Point Pelee, Ontario, during the spring warbler migration. Wilson created the curved painting in 1964. And over the years, the diorama was moved into storage in Canada and the original foreground was lost. Today, the Peabody Museum has obtained the diorama and it is Michael Anderson's and job to recreate the missing the, foreground, um, complete with plants and animals. Sand dune area to, to match the diorama. So um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll mask off all the painting so I don't get any um, plaster or anything on the walls and, um, and put these pieces of wood down, cover it with uh, a mesh, wire mesh, harbor cloth and then cover that with plaster and then put the sand on. Hopefully that'll look, that'll do it. We'll see. But we're all ready to go now, this is, this is great. To ensure scientific accuracy, Michael travels into the field with a botanist to identify and collect the exact species of plants that James Perry Wilson used in his dioramas. Once he has gathered the raw materials, Michael embarks on the process of fabrication and experimentation that will take many months. We'll put the juniper, there's going to be juniper coming in from here to match this painted juniper. Um, we're starting to work on the, on the false Solomon seal, um, wiring up the, the leaves, and um, there, you can see there's some little flowers in here, we're going to make some flowers and then the hairy pacoon, and those will go in in various spots to match in with the, um, the background painting. And um, there'll be more grasses over here, more grasses over here, and um, warblers, lots of warblers. <laughs> he painstakingly creates individual plants, giving attention to the tiny details of transparency and color so that the plants look as real as possible. He uses donated bird skins from the museum's collections to recreate the individual warblers and songbirds for the foreground. It is a labor-intensive process involving the artistic skills of a sculptor and the observation skills of a scientist. This is the ultimate collaboration between science and art. Michael Anderson has a tremendous respect for Perry Wilson and his ability to create real-life settings that bring museum goers into the natural world. James Perry Wilson was trained as an architect. Wilson used his architectural skills to devise a way of painting a curved landscape that would bring the viewer into the diorama like never before. He came up with this idea of, of how to put the drawing on the, on the background so that it looks exactly right from the central viewing point of the diorama. So a, a viewer looking at it from the, from the um, center of the, of the class, looking at the diorama, it would look exactly right. And, and um, all the diorama painters had been struggling with this before. James Perry Wilson was able to combine his artistic sensibility with his understanding of math and geometry to create an amazingly lifelike rendering of the natural world. What Wilson did was he, he was projecting a curved, a, um, like if you took a flat painting and put it into a curve and then projected that onto the wall. And that's what made his, his thing different. So that you can look this way, you can look this way, you can look that way and everything is in relationship. With the help of Michael Anderson, soon the Perry Wilson Point Pelee diorama will be on display at the Peabody Museum for everyone to enjoy and observe. <laughs>